Hello everyone, welcome back to VF Expected once again and welcome back to another exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. In today's video, we will be creating this burnt pine forest inside of Unreal Engine 5. I will show you the entire process of creating this scene in few simple steps. How to set up the realistic light, how to populate these trees over the landscape and create an ambience environment like this. So without much further ado, let's start the video. So this is the scene that we are going to create right now so let's create this from the scratch so i will create a new level first so file new level i will choose empty level so that you can see the light setup create and i'm not going to save this don't save okay now you can see there is no light setup here so first of all i will go to my lights here then i will add this direction light skylight then we will go to this visual effect and add sky atmosphere volumetric clouds and exponential height fog okay this much things is always recommended for any kind of environment light setup okay so our next step is just go to direction light and enable this movable option and then again go to skylight and make it movable and real time capture should be on okay that's all so our next step is creating the landscape so simply go to landscape mode and here you can see the grid of our landscape okay simply hit create okay and if you want any sculpting then you can do that and i'm going to do little bit of sculpting here just little bit not more okay so that we will get some depth after creating the scene so this is my rough landscape so this process is finished so i'm going to selection mode again and our next step is adding the material to our landscape so as you know my scene is burnt kind of scene so i want my ground something like burnt forest ground so for that i'm going to use quixel bridge so in quixel bridge just search for burnt here b u r n t i'm sorry if i am pronouncing this word burnt in wrong way please excuse for that so i'm going to select this ground and here you have to choose any of this ground option so i have already downloaded this one okay let me show you this is the material that i'm going to use in my landscape so i have already downloaded let me show you i will go to local and this is the material that i'm going to use okay out of that you have to download some extra stops that you want to add in your scene like this burnt tree stump and this one this one some weed grasses and some root kind of grounds these are the things that you can add to your scene so i have already downloaded and export to my scene make sure you have also downloaded all these things okay so let's go to our project and first of all i will add my material to my landscape so i will so i will go to my mega scan here i have surface and this is my material simply select the landscape go down here you can see landscape material just drag and drop in this box and here we have the landscape okay i know this is looking like tiling effect but in our final scene this won't be visible okay so don't worry about that and if you want to increase or decrease the tiling simply go inside double click on this and here we have tiling offset you can increase or decrease here like 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 if you want if you want to change then only do it okay so save and close this and our next part is to add the pine trees in our scene here i have created some pine trees inside of cinema 4d if you want to download this i will provide the link in the description please go and download these models let me show you like this one okay i will provide the link in the description you can download that and use in your scene okay so how i am going to use this is by using the pcg tool procedural content generation I have lots of videos on this in my channel you can go and check what is PCG tool and how to use that so to use that you have to enable the plugin so go to edit plugin and search for procedural 
content generation framework and just enable this one okay after restarting just create a folder here like i'm going to create here and rename this as pcg tutorial okay and here i'm going to right click again right click and here you can see the pcg graph click on this and open this okay so this is the graph don't worry this is so easy you don't have to worry about this node system okay so this is so easy so our first thing is just right click here right click and search for surface sampler okay and just open this and here you can see the landscape is here just connect this to this okay again right click here and search for density filter this one connect this to this again search for transform points this one connect this to this and the last one is static mesh spawner this one okay so these four things you have to create in pcg graph okay that's all so select this static mesh spawner and in the right side you can see we have mesh and trees means we will add our pine trees here okay so if you download the models you can see three models are there in different folders okay so i will add one by one so first i will click three times here because i have three models so one two and three so first i will open this and let's minimize this one okay and first i'm going to use this one drag and drop here in second index i will go to my second model drag and drop here in third index i'm going to use the third model this one okay and simply save this okay just close this now we can drag and drop our pcg graph in our scene so this is our pcg graph just drag and drop here and yeah you can see and if you want to populate these trees all around this landscape just select this okay and you can see here scale just increase this like 100 just check it okay again i will increase like 300 yeah now this is fine for me i know this is not looking good but for my specific scene this is fine so let's consider this area we will add all the details here before that one thing i want to inform you to add the details on the ground i have downloaded some stuffs from the quixel bridge let me show you again okay this is up to you guys what kind of environment you are going to create and what details you are going to use okay so here you can see i have downloaded these three four things that i'm going to add on my ground let me show you this grass root this one and this one okay so you can see the color are natural kind of color we will convert this color into something like black and white kind of okay like the forest is already burnt okay that kind of color and for that i will use this material i will add this material in all this 3d mesh okay so that's the idea so i have already downloaded this let's go to our file so this is our megascan 3d assets i will click on the starting mesh so that i can see only the 3d models if you don't find this just click on this one okay and click on the starting mesh you will get these options so let me open one of this so as you can see i have already applied that uh, burnt color in this mesh but let me show you its actual color so this is the actual color of this 3d mesh what i did is i just go to my forest floor and i will drag and drop this one in this material okay or you can do one thing just duplicate this one this material right click and duplicate and i will rename this as material for mesh okay 
means I will add this material to all the mesh only okay and I'm going to change its styling like one and one so that we can see more details and what I will do I will drag and drop this one in this okay and now you can see guys this is looking absolutely realistic and in this way I have added that material in all this ground meshes so much easy process so let's drag and drop this in our landscape so this process will be time taking so take your time and create the ground details okay so I will share a simple process of uh, adding the details just create a camera so go to cinematic <coughs> drag and drop the camera here right click on this here snap object to view again go to perspective cine camera actor okay so let's change the lens here lens setting will be 30 and i will go down here squeeze factor will be 1.3 okay little bit wide so the idea is so the idea so the idea is i will add the details only in my requirement frames not in other area okay so i will place my camera something like here yes this is fine and i will add the details only this area okay not in other areas not in not behind the camera okay so let's start adding this all and this will be easy for you So as you can see, I have covered the landscape with this ground meshes. So our next step will be add some more details like tree stumps. So let's add all these things. Okay, don't worry about the light. I will show you more light setup here. Okay, how to give life to this scene. So don't worry about that. okay give random scale to each and every meshes so that it will look realistic to you this process is little bit time taking guys so take your time make sure and i will recommend you to spend some time in quicksell bridge and you will find much more stops to create this scene so it's up to you guys how you want to use that what kind of scene you want to create okay so i'm leaving this for you you take your time and create the scene okay so our next step you will be adding some depth in our scene so for that what i will do first i will disable this direction light okay and let's use the hdri map okay so go to light setup here is our hdri backdrop drag and drop here and i will increase the size like 5000 just go up and reset its location okay and just pull it down little bit like this so i'm going to use this one this daylight okay and again we will apply the same cube map in skylight okay so go to your skylight here and just disable this real-time capture and change it to specified cube map and just choose the same daylight here okay that's all and you can see our scene is completely dark now what we have to do just go down and increase its intensity like 5 okay and just go up and use this exponential height fog increase its value like 0 0.2 okay and I am going to change its color to something like this. I think 0 0.1 is better. Let's change the light direction a little bit. Okay. And again if I go down here we have volumetric fog. Just click on that. And yeah. You can see the changes now. 
if you want then use this fog otherwise if you need this neat and clear then don't use that okay this is also looking fine let's add some smoke in our scene for that i am going to use the starter pack that Unreal Engine provide so go inside the starter content particles and just add any of this i am using this p smoke okay just like this okay and if you want any fire then you can use this fire okay so i know this is looking different from my actual preview because i am doing this for the second time okay i am leaving this for you guys you just take your time take one day two day three day and create your beautiful environment like this so this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give me a thumbs up to this video and if you are new to my channel please do support me by subscribing my channels for more Unreal Engine related contents and tutorials so see you again in the next time have a nice day